Hi guys, so this is Laking Davao. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. Yes, thank you so much guys for listening to my podcast here in my YouTube channel, Laking Davao. So this is our third episode. Wow. Don't you know, pop it up. So thanks for listening to the first two. And yeah, I, I mean, thank you so much guys. Uh, especially to those who supported us. Really, I, I really appreciate it. And first of all, let me tell you to uh, follow us on Facebook, on my Facebook account, Laking Davao, and also on my Instagram, Laking Davao, uh, and the same with uh, Twitter, Laking Davao. Although Twitter is my Twitter is quite more who got it's more who got thing and it has a lot of memes and political views <laughs> yeah it's a multi-dimensional kind of <laughs> lacking double social platform so <laughs> i hope you enjoy it and also guys you can check my blog www.luckingdavao.wordpress.com yes so before we go further uh, i just want to take this opportunity to Uh, to make a shout out to my good friend Siren f- uh, from Iwa Dumoy. Yes, and also to Raymond Lim from uh, Talomo. Uh, I guess yeah, Talomo Puan Talomo. Okay, so thank you so much, Raymond, and also to Siren. Uh, by the way, guys, the. Uh, Yeah, they sent me a message on my Facebook Messenger. So, okay, uh, before our main discussion, I just want to talk about um, about uh, there's a, a follower of mine uh, asking a question about uh, quote and quote. Ah, di pangutana niya if ngano daw na magpodcast na daw ang laking dabaw. So. Uh, Basically, he wants to know if if Laking Davao is, uh, you know, going to from travel niche going to podcasting, you know, or shifting to podcasting. Okay, something like that. But uh, like I said, uh, if you watch my first episode, uh, you know, the introduction of my podcast, um, it's it's not really uh, this podcasting is not is temporary. Okay, temporary lang to guys as because we are experiencing we're still experiencing uh pan- this pandemic and I really want to be active here uh in YouTube. That's why uh you know, I make this uh, podcast because I can't go out, you know. <laughs> Even though I I can. Guys, uh here in in my place here in Dumoy, I can go to Turil. There's uh waterfalls there. But you know, um, I'm not saying that uh, yeah, you're you're uh, you're a uh, law-abiding citizen, you know, something like that. It's it's not like that, guys. Uh, uh, what I'm trying to you know to portray is I want to make or I want to uh, show my in my followers on Facebook. I want to influence others. You know the you know yung The, the the mindset that the yung mindset na uh, stay at home and be safe with your family something like that it's very important to be safe right now especially kung hindi naman masyadong important no yung gagawin niyo except if, uh, if you're going to work no or there's a uh, meron kang aasikahan or aasikasuhin or you're gonna uh, pay bills Yeah, that is a valid uh, reason to uh, to go outside. But if you go outside just to travel, you know, for leisure and for your blogs, I guess it's not um, you know it's not it's not a uh, a good reason, no. So yeah, something like that. So we go now to our uh, discussion, which is as you can see on the title. Uh, El Nido versus Dinagat Island. So, what's the difference? Yes, 
Yeah, my experience with these two places, El Nido and Dinagat Island. Before I went to El Nido, uh, I visited Dinagat Island first. So with uh, a group of uh, backpackers, uh, it's uh, Travelers of the Philippines group, uh, headed by J.R. Flores, way back 2016. So when I went to El Nido, I was supposed to, to you know, to feel uh, extremely excited. Right, but it was an opposite at the time because you know I don't do because uh, I am lack of sleep at the time or or um, because I saw it on uh, the places that we've been to I saw it on the internet so maybe that's the reason but I believe the main reason at the time was you know because. There are similarities between the two places. You know, parang hindi ka na may except because parang nakita ko naman to. <laughs> Di ba? It parang bigger version ng siya ng Dinagat Island, parang ganoon. Okay. But the places in Dinagat ay uh, in 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 El Nido, it's it's the best, guys. I am not saying that it's not that beautiful because of the of Dinagat Island. No. Ang sinasabi ko is you know the feeling of excitement kasi pag na-excite ka because hindi mo pa na minsan kasi yung excitement uh, nakukuha mo because of surprises eh. right yung hindi mo pa nakita di ba the more uh, bago siya sa iyo the more ka may excite because di ba it's the first time eh parang ganoon so maybe that's the reason uh, why uh, at the time I, i i felt that you know it, it's hindi ako masyadong na-excite I don't know <laughs> because kasi uh, dalawang beses tong ano eh nag uh, island tour so supposedly the first one it could be reasonable but the second one would be the second tour would be you know it's the same thing di ba? parang ganun na yan um, but you know the place El Nido is El Nido El Nido would be El Nido for nothing di ba? maganda siya it's an earthly kind of place yun nga lang nauna ako pumunta sa Dinagat Island <laughs> okay so we go to uh, to Dinagat Island ano bang advantage ng Dinagat Island syempre seclusion the place is secluded guys um, uh, we went there it was Sunday so supposedly uh, you know for ordinary place in, in you know in the city It's supposed to be crowded, right? Kasi Sunday, eh. di ba? Maraming tao. Pero at the time, guys, siguro sa pito na beach or island na napunta namin, siguro dalawa lang yung may, merong tao. Okay? <laughs> Hindi crowded, meron lang tao. Para ganon. So, it's really secluded. And I guess that is the reason why, you know, my heart really uh, left to Dinagat Island because talagang iba siya eh. you know the feeling of loss you know the feeling of mystery the feeling of you know proud that you've been you, that you've been able to uh, uh, explore that kind of place iba parang masarap sa puso so I guess that's the, the main thing okay so okay let's go to the favorite places na lang punta tayo sa El Nido what's my favorite place in El Nido yeah I went to ano tour A B C D okay nagkatura ako dyan sa apat na yan because uh, nagpa fluctuate ang weather at that time no, medyo may pagbag yung papunta <laughs> okay so talaga na ano ko yung ano tour A B C D ng ano ng El Nido and my favorite place would be uh, Kadlaw Lagoon Yeah, that place is heavenly, guys. I say it. It's really the best. Okay, then, sa Dinagat Island naman, my favorite is, of course, the Lake Bababu. Yeah, it's so mysteriously... Wow! <laughs> it's really beautiful, guys. Uh, talagang nag... Ano pa ako dun, eh? Nag-dive in pa ako. Ang lalim pala, no? <laughs> oh, kasi, uh, the owner uh, told me that Richard Gutierrez uh, nag-dive daw doon so so I'm thinking that talagang malalim siya but I did nag-dive talaga ako and yeah 
it's so refreshing the the, the you know the water is so refreshing yun nga lang guys uh, dalawang beses song na dulas <laughs> because uh, because natural lang yung ano yung trail niya but medyo slight medyo hindi stable yun kasi medyo may mga ano eh, corals corals kasi ang pa- paakyat hindi siya dupa talaga may, may pagka coral coral kumbaga Okay, so guys, thank you so much guys. Yun lang yung masasabi ko. Yung El Nido versus Dinagat Island. Sana meron po kayong uh, uh, at least insights kung ano man yung differences nung El Nido and Dinagat Island. So, uh, until next episode guys, sana uh, tumuto kayo sa aking uh, next podcast. And sana magkita-kita tayo ulit. Okay, thank you so much guys. This is Laking Davao. Put your hands up in the air, put your hands up in the air. He's signing off.